Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to continue using the node voltage method that we've been learning to solve this problem which is on the board. So we have a circuit here and what we're trying to do is find out what is the total power dissipated uh, in this circuit. And so anytime you're asked a question like what is the total power dissipated, what you need to do is figure out what passive elements, in this case we have res resistors here, uh, they're all dissipating some power so we need to calculate the power dissipated by each one of those resistors and then we add them all together. So the bottom line is in order to calculate the power through any resistor, you either need to know the current through the resistor, so the power would be I squared R, or if you know the voltage drop across all of these resistors, you can calculate the power by V squared divided by R. So either way is fine, it's just whatever is more handy to calculate. So what we do is we, we know that we're going to end up needing to solve the circuit so that we can find either the voltage across the elements or the current through the elements. Um, and so we've, all, we've been studying this node voltage method. We know that that's going to give us voltages at these key points. And we also know once we find the node voltages, we can pretty much calculate anything else in the circuit. So that's the direction we're going to go. So in order to calculate or to solve this circuit with the node voltage method, we need to identify our essential nodes. So the essential nodes we have are basically here because we have four items interconnected. Here we have four items interconnected and also down here, believe it or not, uh, because we have this resistor, this current source, and this resistor all connected here. So if I were to label my essential nodes, the ones I really care about, this would be an essential node, this would be an essential node, this would be an essential node, because we have three or more things interconnected there. So those are the most important points of the circuit. So where do you think, given that, now this is also an essential node here as well, that's, that's definitely true. Uh, so I guess I could just put a dot here. So I have four essential nodes here. I know from that, from our previous discussion, that I'm going to need three node voltage equations because you need one less equation than the number of essential nodes you have. Right? So I have four essential nodes, I'm going to need three equations. So we have to pick a reference node. Now, you, you really can do this any way you want. I mean, there's no right answer, right? I'm going to choose to pick this guy as my uh, essential node. I'm sorry, my reference, my reference point. That means that all of the node voltages, which really are only these guys remaining, the, the node voltages that we're going to calculate, they're, they're going to be measured and calculated with respect to this being a common, common reference point, common ground, you might have probably heard it before. Um, and so that's sort of completely arbitrary because I can, I can, they're all almost equal. I could pick whatever I want. I could pick this as a reference and then all the voltages over here would be re with respect to this. If I really wanted to, I could pick this as the reference point and then these three remaining nodes would be with respect to this. But typically when you're doing these problems, you want your reference to be on the bottom of the circuit and then your node voltages to be somewhere up around the top of the circuit. It helps you visualize how to write the equations, but it's certainly not strictly required. So, this is going to be our reference, and we have these three remaining uh, nodes. So I'm going to label this uh, node number one, and I'm going to label this plus minus V sub one. So that's node one. Uh, v sub one is what we care about here. I'm going to call this guy node two plus minus V sub two, and you kind of have to use your imagination that it's catty corner, uh, measured with respect to our common reference point here. And then I'm going to call this guy node number three plus minus V sub three. So it clutters up the drawing a little bit and I, 